most of the labeling of features on the maps provided by OpenPoint are done dynamically. The system will just figure out the placement of the text and the exact text that needs to be displayed. Generally, it's trying to avoid overlapping other features and labels, but there are times when, because there's a very dense area of the map, that you may want to manually position the label. So to do this, it's a, it takes several steps. We're going to use something called a feature-linked annotation to be able to override the dynamic label that normally gets displayed. So to do this, the first thing we're going to want to do is select the feature. And I'm going to go over into the attributes that's already open here, and I'm going to go to the global ID, and I'm going to copy that. So that's going to be a way of, of telling the feature annotation uh, what feature to link back to. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into create. So just like creating and adding a new feature, we're going to do that with an annotation. Uh, we're looking for something specific here, though. So right here we have our stations, and beneath that is station annotation. So because this pole is a type of station, then we need to make sure we grab the right uh, type of annotation that goes along with that. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to type in the pull number, and we'll just place that on the map. So I'll just put that right here. So at this point, the annotation is not connected to the feature, not yet anyways. So in order to link it back to that feature, you'll go over to the Attributes uh, tab here, and then find the Feature Global ID. And then you'll just paste in the Global ID that you copied before. So that creates the link. To show that it is linking correctly, let's uh, select the feature here. I'm going to click on Move, and I'm just going to move that down a little bit. And you should see the dynamic label and also the feature-linked label or annotation uh, moving with it. So that happens, so we know that the linking is happening correctly. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to actually get rid of the dynamic label. So there's no sense of showing both of these since I have a feature linked annotation available to us. So um, back on the poll here on the attributes uh, pane, I'm going to scroll down until I see a field called high dynamic label. So I'm going to change that to yes, and that will make the dynamic label disappear, and that's just going to leave us with the feature linked annotation. So now, if I want to, I can then um, change this annotation and place it exactly where I want to. Uh, I can also change the rotation and other things about it. So I'm just going to click on the annotation uh, button here. Actually, I'm going to select the annotation first, and then I'll click on the annotation button. And so from here, I can resize it if I wanted to. I could uh, move it to different locations. And so I also have the ability to uh, rotate if I want to do that. So I can just click on rotate here, and I can get that sized a certain way. And let's say I wanted to just move it then over down to the other side of the pole. So you kind of get the idea. You have uh, the ability to then modify the feature linked annotation and get it exactly where you want. It's still linked to the feature itself, so there's still that connection that's made, uh, yet it still gives you that more finer level of control than what you have with the dynamic label, which is done automatically for you. When you're finished making any of your changes, uh, always make sure to click on the Finish button, and that will save your changes.